Hello there, my HGT Soul Group. How are you guys? Okay, so I'm doing all signs, how they feel about you. And I'm going to do them in order of the most views to the least amount of views. So I will timestamp them. So I'll put this here so we also have, we you know what you could just skim through, but I will have it so that you, you know, you can we'll timestamp it. I'll just keep on changing these. I, I have them in order. I'll just take off the top one as I go. So we're starting with Aquarius. Usually my number one viewers. Okay. Let's see here. We're going to see how they feel about you. Oh, and I want you guys to know, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but I always send healing to all the viewers. So during the time that you're watching, you're always getting healing energy. The whole time you're watching, you are getting healing energy from my guys and the angels. Okay, so let's start with Aquarius. Okay, let's get into this energy. How this person feels about you. Let's tap into someone that's tapping into you. Let's see. Mm. Oh, interesting. Look at this card. Wow. I feel very intense. Boy, it feels so, um, I can't, I don't even know if I can explain this. This feels like, um, First of all, this person has like, they're like sort of have binds around them. They're sort of tied. They feel sort of trapped here, but it almost feels like they're giving into this. If that makes sense. That's why I feel like they're giving into something here. It's, it feels like they're entrapped in something and they feel like they're, there's limits, there's restrictions, there's complications. But you know what? It's like, if you look at this, this person just needs to reach down and get that sword. There is like, they're, they're trapped, but they're trapped in their own, they're in their own way is almost what I feel like here. This person really does feel like they're in their own way. Okay, let's see what we get on this. Okay, Aquarius, your person. Let's see. I'll go into... Let's see what their thoughts are about you. What are they thinking here? Maybe I'll do it that way. I get to see my wolfie. Love my wolfie. <laughs> Let's see their thoughts. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got three. Good. So we have here, this is illusionist. So the Knight of Stones. So you could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Of course, I'm not going to be able to do the extras because it take too long to clean up. But, um... We have the Knight of Stones, Knight of Pentacles. Then we have the Raven. This is the Magician. And we have the Nine of Scrolls. So this person is really feeling at a wit's end here. The, the Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving. They're trying to manifest, but they feel like they're trapped in the, and it's not working. Or they're stressing out. Or This person just feels mentally trapped in their head. They also probably, um, I would say they don't sleep well at night. They're very stressed out. Okay. Now let's see about their feelings. That's your th their thoughts. They're definitely thinking about you. They're trying to manifest. They want to come towards you. Very slow moving. Their feelings now. We have the five of spirals. So that will be the five of wands. They're, they might be worried about competition. Or they might be worried about when they come to talk to you. There might be an argument. Time has changed, though. And then we have the Five of Scrolls. Ooh, Five of Swords. There's some kind of energy around this. They're worried about something. It might be other people interfering. And we have the Six of Mirrors. Six of Cups, but there's memories here. This is, they feel very close to you. Try and see this lighting. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. Yeah, this person is really trapped in their head. They're really thinking about you a lot. I think there's other people around that are, are trying to maybe prevent them from coming towards you. Let's see what the action they might take. What action might they take towards you? Let's see. Get 
Gala. This is the Empress. Okay, Libra Taurus energy here. The Empress, they're going to be very creative about doing something here. This is, they want to do something. They want to give birth to this. So they're working hard on trying to figure out how they can be creative and how they can uh, make something happen here. Give birth to a new connection, a new, let's see, we have here the Three of Stones. Yeah, they want to collaborate with you. They want to work together. One more. And we have the Muse. This is the Queen of Spirals. So the Queen of Wands. Yeah, they're trying to be very creative here about what they do. They're very attractive to you. Queen of Spirals be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But yeah, this person is feeling trapped. They're in their head. They want to come towards you. They don't know how to do it. They're trying to manifest something, but they're really not sure how to make this happen. But I think they're they're... It almost feels like they cannot not do something. They're just trying to figure out how to do it. But I do feel there's some kind of energy around them that's interfering. Main, right in the middle here, we have the Five of Swords. There's conflict. There's um, probably it's family, friends, co-workers, wherever this is in your, you know, whether you're this is a co-worker or this is someone, you know, their family's involved or something's happening here. Where there's some kind of intrusion. But this person has a lot of feelings here. They want to make something work. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I feel like this person... It's really weird because when I first got this card... I, it's so weird because this it's almost like this person feels like... I have to give in to this. It feels like they're getting divinely guided... But they feel, and, and you know, look at these ties. They're not really that tight. So it's really this person. I almost feel like this person, if this makes sense to you, they make a mountain out of a molehill. And I'm getting that energy. I'm getting told here that everybody else is at fault. They have to, you know, <laughs> they, they can put their grown-up pants on. I feel like a very immature energy I'm tapping into. It's like, come on. You know, like we're all responsible for what happens to us. We create our own reality. But this person's used to blaming others, it feels like. Now, of course, that's not going to be for everyone. But that's the energy I'm tapping into. Someone is stuck. If, once they realize, if oh my God, it feels like they're so in the dark about things. I feel like they've been misled. Um, whoever they listen to, they're not the brightest people. Or maybe I shouldn't say they're not the brightest people. But they're not knowing. You know, they're listening to people that really don't know better. And I feel, too, that this person, they should listen to themselves. I, you know, th there's an energy that I'm feeling from this person right here that they are very intelligent. They have a lot more going for them than they think. But I think the energy I'm tapping into here, someone was mentally manipulated um, growing up. And it's like they were told they weren't good enough or something or other. And it's so untrue. This person has a lot more capabilities than they are ever utilizing. They are like, if they are only, this person only has like just touched a little bit of what they're actually capable of. Is the energy I'm feeling with this person. It's very sad because they, the heart of this person is very loving, very giving, very caring. But I feel like they're in the wrong environment. And this might be actually their upbringing. It feels like, yeah. I mean, but you know what? Then you have to break away from that. It's, I don't know, a lot of people don't understand that we, before we come back, we decide what we want to go through. What, what would be the best thing for our souls to learn, to advance? So the crap that we're going through, yeah, we, we picked it. I know that's so hard to believe, but it's true. But the more... The harder things are, the farther probably the more advanced your soul is, the you know, that you've been around a long time, your old soul, and you're like, well, you know, I have to do this because you know that when you go back, when we, you know, pass on to the, you know, and we, then we realize, wow, that really did advance me. I'm so glad I did that. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. 
So I'm gonna pause this for a second just so I can write down. Okay, my Capricornies, you're up next. So let's see what's going on, Capricorn. How does this person feel about you? What's going on with them? Let's get the first card as that comes out. And I'm using this deck again because you know how that came flying out at me during your reading. Let's see. We oh look at this, a very nurturing energy. Now this person here. They might feel, see this nurture, and you might be a mentor to them. You might be someone that they feel comforted by. There is some kind of connection with you guys. This, I mean, you're seeing a mother and a baby, but this could be like a teacher and a student. This could be, and I'm not getting weird like that. You know, I'm just saying that you could be teaching them something. They feel like they learn from you. Um, this could also be, um, you yeah, like some kind of mentor energy or um, that you inspire them. Yeah, I feel like they feel comfortable with you. There's a very comforting, warming connection here. It feels like they feel safe with you. Okay. Now, let's see if we get into this a little more. So, let's see about their thoughts about you. And I'm not doing any of the extras because it would be too hard to be doing all the signs, so... You know, this is just going to go in a little bit into each sign real quick. Especially, you know, I, I, I had a hard time with my um, computer. I was, I don't know if I had like a virus or something, but everything was getting all crazy. My, my um, pointer was all over the place. I have like Word documents. I would go and I'll start going like this, like reading each line. I said, that was kind of creepy. <laughs> so I had a, um, a, I had a fight with that until I got it working. Okay, so let's see what we have here. With this energy so we have here storyteller the hermit are you dealing with a virgo okay the thoughts are <laughs> okay the thoughts are i don't know if you're not talking to this person it almost feels like what is the story they're going to tell you now the hermit card is usually going deep within looking for answers and stuff but now since the storyteller came up i'm gonna have to address that it's just like Someone is going through their, now we're going through thoughts, right? So someone's going through their mind. But what story they're going to tell you? Why do they have to tell you a story? I don't know. Let's see. We have the three of stones. They want to collaborate with you. Their thoughts are how can we work together? But they need to tell you something here. We have the two of spirals. Yeah, they're at a crossroads now, trying to figure out what to do. See that? They're really looking at things, thinking about things, um, trying to figure out how to make this work. Okay, I'm going to move this up a little bit, I think. Okay, so now, let's see about their feelings towards you. Feelings for you. Oh, come on, what are you doing there? So we have Bella Rosa, and this is the devil. Okay, well, we do have Capricorn Angel. Angel, oh my God. Capricorn Angel. That was weird. I don't, I want to say energy, and it came out angel. So they must feel like you are an angel to them. Isn't that weird for the devil card? Okay, so this person... This is a very strong connection. Look at this. They even have the infinity symbol on this. That's a very different devil card, isn't it? So, um. You guys definitely had a connection in Victorian times. Does that sound right to you? You know, it may be mm, 1800s. Something like that. It's, um. Yeah, I'm feeling very English, Victorian. I, I don't know. Um, that's what's coming up. But the feelings for you, they might be obsessively thinking about you. They might be a little jealous, too. We have the two of stones. They're trying to come into balance. I don't know why this person feels a little out of kilter to me. Like this, 
the bear is ready to cross over, but being very cautious. See how it's going to step over? It's like it's looking to the side there. It wants to balance things out, but both of these cards, it looks like someone's looking somewhere. Looking at something. It's like, okay, my feelings for you are that I have to watch what I do. I have to watch what I say. Okay. Ooh, we have the Ten of Spirals. This is a heavy burden. Look at this. We have like Sagittarius energy here. As you could tell, you got that. So, why it feels like something at a cross. If you look at this, there's like standing on a cross, like. There's like four different directions. Is there something about four here? Feeling four. Number four. Something in the fourth month. Number four. I, I got a loud four. What is a loud four? Someone it might mean something to someone. Something about a loud four. Okay, something. someone's allowing someone. What? Oh, maybe it's like four weeks, four months. The timing or allow it by maybe by the 4th of July I don't know it's like um something allowed for and it's not for it's f-o-u-r okay so this is like a heavy burden here they're feeling this is a heavy burden they also could be feeling like they're putting a heavy burden on you okay let's see about the action they might take towards you We have the four of mirrors. Well, here's the four of cups. They want to offer you a cup, but by the time they get to do it, you might already be gone is what I'm feeling here. You're not sure if you're going to want this anymore. It feels like they feel your energy sort of not as strong. I, I don't think you guys are seeing each other at, at the time, but it feels like you're connected, but it's starting to fade. It's like I'm feeling like a, a someone pulling back. And they feel that. They're losing you. They feel it. So we have here Herney Hunter. Is that what it is? Yeah. So we have the chariot. They want to come in quick here. And we have the emperor. The green man. They want to take charge. They want to come in. Why do I feel this person never takes charge? This person almost feels like they, um, they're used to being the good boy, the good girl. Listening, not taking charge. Now, they need to do something here. They need to change things. They need to take a swift action here. And they feel they need to be empowered. They need to take charge. They, uh, they're trying to get, they're not used to that. I feel a very laid back energy here. It's like, yeah, whatever. It's like, and I don't mean like in a, like, I don't care way. It almost feels like just... I don't know, complacent or just just not very fast moving is um I don't know is it just are they on something because I feel so laid back like um I'm just like maybe it's taking something to relax me maybe um I don't know if they're showing me the gummies the um the mood or something like that. What they, is that what they're called? Yeah, there's something like that. But someone might be taking something to just calm their nerves. I don't think they're like a drug addict. Um, the devil did come up here with feelings. But I don't I don't feel that from, from this energy. I feel like someone just takes something to calm their nerves. Or takes something just to take the edge off. Is the energy I feel here. If that makes any sense. Okay, so this person wants to come forward fast would be really weird for them because they don't move fast. So if they all of a sudden show up at your front door, you'll be like, that's very unusual. Um, but yeah, they're, they're planning something because they feel you slipping away. This person has, you know, a very strong attachment to you. They, they feel very deeply. They feel that you're very loving, caring, and giving. But they do feel that they feel you withdrawing and it's making them nervous. 
So I think you're going to hear from this person. It might be all of a sudden they might need to, or maybe they're going to take a liquid courage or something, but all of a sudden they just might show up at your door when they can so they can't back out. Okay, Capricorn, that's what I have for you. So I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay, Gemini, let's see what we have going on for you, how this person feels about you. Let's see what we get here. What's the energy here? Oh, the key. There, there is something about you. It feels like you are the key. You are the answer. But can they get there? Look, they see this. See how it's inside that globe? The key, the answer to unlock something here. Here's the, they want to unlock this, but the key's in there. How do you get to the key? How do they get to you? You are what they want. You are their dream. Hmm. Okay, let's put that there. I'm trying to see this energy. Ooh, it's the secrets. It's secrets we keep. Okay, what about the secret? They they know they have to prove something. They have to I think they have to win your trust. Okay, this key is in here. How do you get to the key? It's illuminated too. Look how this, this globe is like lit up. And someone's very aware of that. So it's like they might need to, maybe they search for answers. Yeah, this person probably is looking to see how they can do this. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we have here. They might have to open up or something here. Let's see. Okay. Their thoughts about you. The muse. Queen of spirals. You in spirals. <laughs> Spiral. <laughs> it's almost sound like I was going to say sparrows. If that makes sense to someone. And we have the mime. So it's page of spirals. So the queen and page of wands. Okay. Yeah, you inspire them. There's something here. They're very attracted to you. I'm getting they like the way you move. And um, they like to watch you move. You have here the, um, they want to get a message to you. They're thinking how they can get a message to you. What should they write? I, th I see someone sitting at a desk and not, not typing, actually writing something down and then crossing it out because it feels like if I put the pen to the paper, my thoughts flow better. If I do the typing, it's not the same. So if this person is like old school or they feel like maybe they do write, they might be a writer or someone that likes to use the pen a lot. But it feels like, yeah, that's what I need to do. Their thoughts are, they got to write this out. They have to write this down. And we have the muse. You inspire them. You do. We have here the poet. Look at that. So now we have the king of strolls. So this is... um. The king of um, swords. I had to think for a minute on these different names on these here. Okay, so um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this would be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I'm in someone's head here and they have a hard time. Sometimes they get stuck where they can't find their words. Or um, I feel like I know this, but why can't I? It doesn't seem... I don't like when it's too washed out, but I need some kind of light here. Okay. Uh, okay. So, yeah, they know it, but they don't know. They can't put the words together. Yeah, they're, they're struggling with what to say to you. Their thoughts are, I need to say the right thing. I have to say this just right. They might be a perfectionist. Okay, let's see about their feelings.
Well, I thought it had more than one. So we had the Four of Mirrors. Yeah. Their feelings are they want to come and offer you their cup. They're afraid you might not take it. That you might have other options. That you might be concentrating on something else at this time, too. Are you concentrating on something else? It feels like your energy feels pulled in another direction. You might have other people around you. And not for nothing, for, as far as their thoughts, this came up as three people. We have here the Souvenir. This is the King of Maris. Okay. Their feelings are they have a lot of love for you. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, give me any sign. Hang on, I'm going to see if I can get the lighting a little better. Okay, that's a little better. When I become rich and famous, I think I'll invest in a studio. <laughs> so the lighting would be better. It's, it's like, it's cloudy here too. And, um, yeah, it's not the perfect placement for doing these, but it has to do. So let's see what we have here. Yeah, this person has a lot of love for you. They, they want to express it, but they're not sure how. And this is the Seven of Scrolls. Yeah, this is like, wow. Let's see. Seven of Scrolls. Is it going to come in clear? No. Come on. Well, anyway, they're really, they're holding back. They're holding back now until they, I don't know, this person is like, every time they write something, I see someone scribbling it out, writing it, scribbling it out. Okay, let's see about the action they're actually going to take towards you. So the minstrel, this is this is the king of scrolls. So that would be the King of Swords. You know, it feels so different. I don't know why the energy feels different than a King of Swords. Oh, it's a King of Stones. I'm reading it wrong. See, I'm in the dark here. This, I can say it didn't feel like, it didn't feel like the energy of the King. <laughs> but it's the King of Stones. Okay, so, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is, they might be working on their finances or maybe they are um, doing well financially, but they're, they're working on that because that's what's coming up as action. Okay, whatever that might mean. Let's see. We have here the 10 of spirals, right? Oh, I tell you this by putting that the lighting is driving me crazy. Hang on. Okay, yeah, the Ten of Spirals. So this is a heavy burden. This person needs to move, though. They know they need to do something. So it's because this is weighing on them something heavy here. So they, it, this is like the Ten of Wands. These cards are so um, muted. I like them, though, but there's only well, the second time I'm using them. And we have the Eight of Scrolls. Yeah, they're in their head about this. I don't know when you're going to hear from this person because they're not sure about what to do. They're in their head. They're in their head a lot. So I can't give you any better uh, um, timing or information because they're just not... There's something that is not... It almost This person feels like they have to do something just right. They might be just someone that is, um, are you dealing with a Virgo? It's like a perfectionist. I feel like a very perfectionist energy. It's like, I have to do this just right. They might drive you freaking crazy. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you they're, they're moving here. But it feels like they're, see this card too. I, I see it's, a... <coughs> sorry, I got a tickle here. It seems like there's like, a cross underneath this person so it almost seems like there's four different 
ways to do something or for directions. Maybe this person feels like they're getting pulled in too many directions because we do have this spiral here, which is a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibility. So it could be because they're very, um, you might, you could really depend on this person as far as finances or taking care of things or doing things the right way. Almost feels like I'm getting an energy. If I give to Gemini, I can't, at this time, I can't see a way where I could give to them totally. So they might feel like they might be jipping you. So they're better off not coming until they can do this correctly, if that makes sense. All right, guys, we're going to leave that there. I'm going on. Sagittarius. I'm trying to get into the energy here. Okay. Oh, that's better. All right. Let's see about Sagittarius. How do they feel about you? Okay. Here we go. Oh. Huh. Sorry, I have to look at these cards a little closer. I, I need to get, like, really look at the picture and feel the energy. There's a lot of thought about you. This is, um... They're putting things together. They might stare at your picture. They hear this is, um... Yeah, something's coming together. A very calming energy came over me. It's like... I don't know. It feels... I, I kind of, it's kind of hard for me to move right now. It feels like I feel very placid, very, very calm. Unless someone's, um, it's weird because I just, I left, um, I do just a Gemini, right? I left that energy and I felt like, was it that one? That, oh, I don't even know now. Someone felt like they might have took like those mood gummies or something like that. I almost feel like that, but this, it feels even more calm when I tapped into whoever energy this is. Okay, so let's see about their thoughts about you. So we have, this is Matt, it's M-A-A-T on this, right? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And I gotta look at these in the light here. But this is justice. They want to make things right. They need to correct something. They're trying, okay, it could be Libra here, but they're trying to, I feel like it's like, I don't know if I feel, if they feel at peace by what they figured out or if they're on something, but I feel very like, I feel good. I feel, you know, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Um, let's see, but there might be, they're trying to bring in a contract or justice or something. Okay, that's their thoughts. And we have here the Nine of Stones. They want to build something. The Nine of Stones is a very independent energy. For someone here, now this is only one person that popped in real quick and took and came out. So that's only for one person and just, it's just for me to mention it. Someone might be involved with someone that wants to have them under contract. Um, they might be like some professionally, something um, business-wise. This is this could be someone that is in the spotlight. Someone is interested them in a romantic way, but they also want to promote them, get them under contract. And it's not, you know. They want to do it because they feel like it's the right thing. They want to do it in the right way. I almost feel like someone here is trying to, they have means, they have ways they, to help someone. They might be a manager or some, a promoter or something like that. But, they, but they're um, trying to make sure they do it in the correct way for, for um, Sagittarius. Whatever that might mean. That is very, that's off the normal. 
but but this is a very independent single energy here so maybe they're hoping you're single so we have here the seven of mirrors choices options confusion yeah so here we have a single energy this could be uh, entrepreneur energy because someone doing it alone here having many options choices and maybe that's it so maybe for some of you the contract means a marriage contract but for others it might mean a marriage contract plus getting you a good contract and i don't feel like they're doing it for the money i feel like they're doing it because they care about you okay let's see about feelings the eight of mirrors why do they feel like they want to maybe they might feel like you're walking away Someone might need to walk away from something. Maybe that's a feeling. Someone needs to walk away. Is it from another connection? A situation? But there is the Eight of Mirrors, which is the Eight of Cups. And we have here the Corsair, which is... Is this the Knight of... The Knight of Spirals, which that means... Um, yeah, the Knight of Spirals is actually the Don Juan, Don Wanda here. That is the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be any sign. Someone might need to walk away from that energy or walk away from someone that is that energy. That very playish, playboy, playgirl type. Okay. So we have here the two of mirrors. Yeah, there's a two of cups here. Their feelings for you is they have a lot of love for you, but someone is in that very play type, the playboy, playgirl, and they need to move away from that in order to have this connection. I don't know if that's on your side or their side. Okay. Now, action they might take towards you. So we have here... is well this is the death card there's a major change that has to take place this person might have to change in some way some shape or some form death card scorpio energy endings new beginnings rebirth transformation something has to change so they might be changing in order to come towards you And we have here the Three of Scrolls. Yeah, there might have been a third-party situation here. Someone might have to end that. End another connection. And we have here the Watcher. This is the Queen of Mirror. So the Watcher is actually the Queen of Cups. A very loving energy, but a very intuitive energy. Yeah, so someone has to end something and walk away from another party, another situation, something that interfered with this connection. Now, you can always reverse this because that would be like the action has to be, the action can be taken once this is ended. There's the Queen of Cups. I don't know if someone has to end it with a Queen of Cups or they're feeling you are the Queen of Cups. But it's very loving, nurturing energy and it's also very intuitive. Yeah, so there definitely has to be an ending before there could be anything here. So something has to be straightened out, changed. Um, now, with the Three of Swords, this could be distance. That's interfering here. So someone might have to come closer. This could be um, money. This could be family. It could be friends. It could be another person. A, you know, a connection here. But someone definitely has to end something in order to have something with you. And they know it. So we're at that where until they end something, it's not going to happen. So someone has to walk away from something. A third party. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. So once they end something, then they could come towards you. But until then, 
that's where we're gonna leave it so we'll stop it there okay Libra let's see what's happening for you guys what's going on with this person how do they feel about you let's see what we get Ooh, this is okay they're like ready to I don't know I feel like an expression here they want to express themselves It's, um, I don't know. It's a card. It's yeah, usually something about, I don't know. You know, the, the card, it doesn't make any sense to me right now. It's like assistance, help, support, um, type of energy. But no, this is not, no, this person is, it's so weird. It's like, oh my God, I, I feel like, why does it feel like you're looking at this person? Like, what are you doing? And that's the energy I'm feeling from. I, it feels like this card is telling me they're like displaying this or trying to show you something. And the, what I'm getting from you is what are you doing <laughs> i don't know I'm, I'm just telling you what i get here so let's see about this their thoughts about you let's see let's go into that that card just i don't know if you feel like sometimes this person does things that you don't understand but this card when i got it it's just confused me because it felt like why do i feel like it doesn't fit so maybe i'm tapping into your energy the way you see them is like what are you doing what <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Thoughts. Thoughts. Let's get out of that. I want to get out of that because I'm feeling like I can't think because I'm looking at that card and it's, it's making me say, what is that? <laughs> so, um, there are thoughts about you. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. We got these here too. So I don't know. I might have to look at those too. Let's see. So we have here, this is the nine of mirrors. So you are the wish fulfillment, the sun. You make them happy. And we have the ace of spirals. Wow. <laughs> Their thoughts about you? Oh, okay. Maybe you make them dance. Okay. I'm saying this totally didn't make sense. But it's like maybe you don't realize this. This person does weird things sometimes in front of you. And maybe they aren't even aware of it. But it feels like they get intoxicated by you. Okay, okay, this makes sense now because I'm like, I'm so confused by this card. <laughs> Nine Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Sun, Leo Energy. And then we have here, this is the Ace of Spirals, so passion, desire. You give them, you're like amused to them or something like that. You inspire them. You you, you bring this to creative energy. Now, these cards wanted to come out too. Where do I stop it here? I don't know what this one does too. Okay, I'm going to look at these. Um, so we have here the Ten of Spirals, a heavy burden. And then we have the Illusionist, which is the Knight of Stones, which would be um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we have the Four of Scrolls, which is, you feel very healing to them. It's a, It feels like they have a lot of burdens and they want to come towards you. But this very slow moving. I'm going to put these back in the deck. But this is like a little side note is what I'm getting here. It's like this is probably something they'll never tell you. Um, it feels like if they think about you, you're healing to them. Um, there's something about this. It could be dealing with a knight of pentacles. Okay, that makes more sense. It's like, I'm, you know, but I have to, you know, I got to get out of trying to figure it out. Because I got to let the cards just play out. Because then it makes sense. <laughs> Okay, because <laughs> I was like, what? That doesn't make sense. Okay, now let's see about their feelings towards you. So we have the eight of spirals. They're in their head. They're not sure what to do. Um, but here's the eight of wands. The eight of spires but i'm getting that they're in this is something moving quickly here but they're still in the head i mean i was seeing the eight of wands i was seeing them moving through the air but i was getting that someone was stuck in their head 
So this is like going really quick because the deers move fast and this is like these wands are keeping up with the deer. So it's something about, you know, it might be that their thoughts are going so fast. They want, the feelings are they want something to take off. They want something to move quickly here. But their thoughts, they're in their head. Okay. These cards are like messing with me. <laughs> Okay, so now we have that. This is the nine of stones. Okay, it's, their feelings are maybe you're very independent. You're doing well on your own. But they want to take action towards you. They want something to move here. Okay, let's see what else we get. Okay, now I have the five of scrolls. And we have here the four of scrolls. So they want to heal the situation. Their feelings, they want to heal this. But there might be interference with the five of scrolls. These are swords. So we have wands, we have pentacles, and we have swords. So yeah, their feelings are they want to heal this, but they might they might have other people trying to stop it, or there's some kind of interference, or there's something here with the five of swords. Someone might be needing to walk away from something, hold back. Something's going on with that. Okay, now let's see about the action they might take towards you. Okay, so we have the four of spirals. They want commitment. They want long term. They want commitment. You must be confused by this person's energy because the energy I'm, I'm reading is like the, when you really tap into them, when you get past that, that um, blockage that they put up, you can see this person is crazy about you, but I don't think they actually show you. It's almost like they want to show you, but when they show you, they show you. <laughs> and you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, I don't know. Let's see. Four of Wands. We have the Ace of Mirrors. They have a lot of love for you. They want to, they want a commitment. They want to express their love. Okay, so you might, they might be doing something here. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know how they're going to do it, but it's going to be very interesting, I think. Oh, boy. We have here, so here we have the Eight of Stones. They want to work on this with you. Wow. They're planning on doing something to help build something, to help work on something. Come together here. Look at this. So they are up to something. What I do not know, I don't think you'll ever know. This person almost feels like they're showing me like a magician with a bag of tricks. It's like this person reaches in and you think they're going to grab a rabbit and then they'll grab something totally different. It'll be like you'll never know what to expect with this one. But they do have a lot of love for you. They're crazy about you. But you, you inspire them so much. They feel so um, so happy around you, so inspired, so um, alive. You make them feel alive. And if you're not, you know, because of this, you know, how they feel about you. It's going to be someone you're with right now. They're not really expressing it somehow, but they act kind of weird at times. But if you're not with them, they really want to get together with you. And they want, they're trying to figure out how to make that happen. There's something about this Five of Swords, though. There's some kind of conflict. There's some kind of something that is, um, I can take more energy off this. Hmm. Maybe someone needs to speak their truth on something. I think it would be nice if they did open up to you and, sp and would speak their truth. That would help a lot. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Just know this person's crazy about you. They're planning something, and they want to work together with you. They have a lot of love for you. They actually want marriage. They want long-term. This would be someone that might come in. They used to have a long time ago. What was it? Like a singing telegram when people would dress up. I know that um, we sent my father a gorilla. He was in the hospital in the VA. So we sent him a gorilla singing him happy birthday. And um, 
That was a great, I, I was crying with laughter when, he, when that gorilla came in. My father was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> but that's my personality. <laughs> he knew who did it right away. <laughs> All right. So then, you know, I don't see that happening anymore. That was fun. All right, guys. So I'm going to leave it there and um, I'm going to move on to the next sign. Okay, Cancer, how they feel about you? Let's see what we get on you guys. Okay. Oh, we got two for you. Ooh, bonus. Oh, so we have here, this is like, sometimes it seems so weird because this right here, this is someone that is really hanging in there. They're um, very determined. And then we have this card here. Someone is really scholarly or trying to learn something here. Yeah, so this is, um, this is knowledge. This is research. They are very determined. They might be trying to find out about you more. Is this someone might be someone new, new to you? If not, if it's that someone you haven't seen in a while, they're researching, they're trying to be informed. They're um, looking things up. They have all these books and all these papers here. So they're they're researching something. This can also be maybe if there's an interest that you like, they might be trying to um, brush up on that so they can talk to you about it or something. This is a very determined energy. Whoever this person is, they're very determined. Um... To get in your good graces, whatever that means here. So let's see about their thoughts. What are their thoughts about you? Okay, so we have here. This is the muse. Okay, so this is the queen. Queen of Spires. Okay, so they're very attracted to you. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, but this is how their thoughts about you. They're very attracted to you. They, they, yeah, you inspire them. They're very intrigued, very interested. Let's see. And we have the lovers. Yes. Choice. Maybe you have a choice. Maybe they have a choice. This is also, um, yeah, they, I think they want this strong connection with you, with the lovers. Gemini energy. And then we have here, this is the five of mirrors. Maybe this could be someone having a lot of regret and remorse. Maybe this was someone that you were with before, and they don't know how to get back in good with you. That's why they're doing all, they're very determined, and they're really doing a lot of research or learning or or it's either something that you like to do or something you're interested in or they're just trying to find out about you what you're, what's going on with you let's see about the feelings the feelings toward you what are their feelings toward you oh got the card from the deck that's weird I didn't know it was in there hmm Almost feel like a card from the deck. They might want to know everything about you. <laughs> you know, the feelings are they need to know more. They need to they need to go deeper. But I think the person might overdo it. They might be one of those people that don't know where to stop. <laughs> okay. So we have here the eight of mirrors. Yes, yeah, some feel need to walk away from something. Either you need to, they need to, someone needs to re walk away from something. That's what this person feels anyway. And we have here, this is actually the king of mirrors. Yeah, they have a lot of love for you. Their feelings are deep. And they might need to walk away from something to come towards you. And they're willing to do so. And we have the sun. You make them happy. Leo energy. A lot of feelings for you. You make them happy. They might need to leave something behind. Or they might have to relocate maybe. Is that it? Are you guys like really at a distance? Are you in different countries or different states? It feels like this person is um, feeling in order to have, find their happiness, they have to move. They have to relocate. 
So let's see. Maybe they're they're searching to see what's around in the area too. This could be someone that is looking at real estate or looking at um, the area and see what they can do. How would this? How could they fit into that area? I mean, this seems like really intense energy in looking at something. So say that they they're from another state. Let's not put it as far as the country but say they're from another state and they do so and so they might be looking at okay where can i work if i was to move there where would be the best place to live um and they're probably considering okay now i would have to move in some place maybe for a temporary situation or i'm almost feeling like this person's thinking so far ahead they're thinking should i buy a house but then that might be wrong to buy a house if you guys don't really get together and what happens if you don't like the area or what you know it's like they're trying almost feels like they're trying to plan everything out but you know they also realize you're gonna have to be if you guys get married or something you're gonna have to have some say in the matter <laughs> you don't just buy a house and say okay come live here okay let's see and say if they bought a house in your neighborhood maybe you've been planning to get out of that neighborhood Oh, just when I looked at the time, it was 5555. Five, five, five. Lots of changes is happening here. Okay, let's see about the action that you might take towards you. The Watcher. This is the Queen of. Mirrors. Ooh. They might be wanting to show you their love here. Show they want to. We had so this is a king and queen of. cups here yeah, a lot of love between you guys but they want to show you their emotions they want to express their emotions they want to um yeah, to express themselves okay and we have divine child so this is the the hierophant they want commitment they're looking to commit And we have the Four of Stones. They might be holding back at this time, though. They're trying to keep things quiet. I don't think they want to express too much. They don't want to say too much. But they, this person is planning on coming towards you. They're, they're working on something very hard, though. Very diligent. Very determined. This person is very, a very determined energy. I just feel like they want to make sure they do things right. They have a lot of love for you. They got the king and queen of cups. So I think there might be a strong love connection already with this person. If that's the case, then it's probably for you. But I don't have much more to say on this because this person is just very determined. They're coming in. They're trying to plan things out until they actually make a move. You, know, But they will be doing something here because they're planning it. So expect to hear from this person. And probably in the near future, I would think. Stop it. Hey there, Leo. Let's see what's going on with you. How does this person feel about you? Let's see. Ooh. They're thinking. They're doing a lot of thinking. Planning, plotting, thinking. Look at this. They're looking at this skull and there's, they're, they're trying to plan something out here. I always got to look at the cards closer to get more energy off them. This is something that, you know, I, this person, when they think about you, it's like there's no limit of what they feel like you guys could do together. It's a very strong feeling of empowerment I'm getting from this person when they think about you. Okay. Infinity, forever. It's like, let's do it type of energy. Okay. Let's get more into that. The thoughts thoughts for you so we have here this is the the artiste so we have the queen of stones so they might see you as the artist maybe you are an artist they also see you as very secure safe um, financially stable or focusing on your work maybe Taurus Virgo Capricorn And we have here the Five of Mirrors. 
they might feel like they missed an opportunity and they have a lot of regret and remorse for what happened or what didn't happen or why is there's like more sun coming in here I don't know let's see I keep on having to mess with the light sorry I'm gonna pause a minute Okay, these cards are very muted in color. They're, I like them, but they, I wish they were a little bit deeper. Okay. So I blocked out the sun a little bit, but... Uh, I tried to show you guys as much as I can here, but that is a little... I wish they were darker. So we have here the Five of Spirals. Five of Wands. Or they might be worried about competition. They wish they did more or did something differently, and there might be competition that they're concerned about here. Okay, so let's see about their feelings for you. What are their feelings for you? So we have here the Seven of Scrolls. Ooh, they might be holding them back. They're afraid to make a move at this time. They want... Yeah, I keep on feeling energy lately of people wanting to make sure they just do everything right. And that's what it feels like here. Because Seven of Scrolls could be, um, they might feel this, maybe they can feel that like someone lied or cheated, or they did. Um, you see Seven of Swords is a card of some kind of lies, deceit, or holding back, or feeling someone else is holding back. Okay, so let's see, we have here two, okay, we got the other two. So this is the Seven of of stones and we have the four of spirals so seven of stones there yeah th right now their feelings are that they need to reevaluate reassess in order to get a commitment because this is the four of wands and this is the seven of pentacles they want to harvest here they want they want to have it all with you so they're they might be just keeping quiet about what they're planning Okay, let's see what action they might take towards you. What is the action they might take towards you? Oh, we got all three here. Okay, so we have here the dreamer. Which is the knight of mirrors, which is the knight of cups. Then we have the five of stones. And we have the three of spirals. Okay, so... With the dreamer and the night mirrors, they're planning on coming towards you with a love offer. And with the five of stones, they're feeling that you might not take it. You might leave them out in the cold because of what happened before. And then we have the three of spirals. So they're waiting. Look at that. They're waiting for the right time to come in. Oh, can we get that any closer? Uh, that's going to come in. Yeah, they're waiting. They're being patient. They're waiting. They want this to work. So they know they have to wait for the right timing to do things correctly here. Hmm. They're being very patient. But they're afraid that you're going to turn them down. But they are going to come and offer their cup anyway. Because it feels like they have to. They, they have to. Um, they have to make a move. And they think that maybe it won't work, but they're going to have to try anyway. All right, guys. So I guess I'm going to leave that here for you and go on to the next sign. Okay, Pisces. Let's see what we have going on. Okay, let's see. Pisces, Pisces. Okay. Oh, yeah. Someone is doing a lot of research, a lot of looking, a lot of studying, a lot of examining here they might be either checking you out re researching something about you or if there is a, if they know you're interested in something they might be trying to learn about that topic okay so let's see about their thoughts about you so we have here the ten of spirals okay heavy burden they might either, they're thinking about you, I think that you have a lot on your plate, or they might think about you, they're saying, oh, this is like heavy, this is too much, or um, it might be burdening them thinking about you. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have here 
this is the muse so with the muse this is the queen of spirals so they're you're very attractive to you Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it does not matter. This is how they feel about you. I mean, how they, their thoughts about you. They're very attracted to you. They, um, they're very intrigued by you. Okay, let's see. And we have the Seven of Spirals. They're willing to fight for this connection. Just like the Seven of Wands. They're willing to fight for this. Whatever it takes. They learn, learn. They're trying to understand something. If they don't understand something, they're going to research it. This person puts all their... Um, they put a lot of effort into something. Okay? They're not lazy. Okay, let's see about um, their feelings for you. So we have the Seven of Maris. Ooh. They're very confused about what to do. Their feelings are... They have a lot of feelings for you, but maybe they might also be thinking, ooh, who else does Pisces have around? You know, I think they're a little concerned about that because they're willing to fight for you. So, yeah, they might be saying you get a lot of attention and they're kind of concerned about that. Okay, so we have here. So this is the king of mirrors. Yeah, their feelings are they have a lot of love for you. Could be a Scorpio Cancer Pisces, but it could be any sign. This is just saying they have a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings for you. But they're confused. And they, then we have Merlin. And the Merlin comes up as Zero, the hero. The Merlin usually, to me, is the magician. But this is coming up as a fool, a new beginning. But I'm going to actually combine the two. They might be feeling like, okay, you are their hero, too, with the hero coming up. But I feel like they're, they're feeling like they need to manifest something. And they want to manifest a, a new beginning with you. Okay, let's see about the action they might take. So we have here Herning Hunter. This is the chariot. Okay, so the action is they're going to come forward. And they might come in very quickly. I wish these cards were coming in a little clearer. They're just, they're nice cards. They're just muted. Okay, so Cancer Energy coming in quick. They're planning on coming towards you fast. Okay, let's see. And we have the Sun. Yeah, they want to make you happy. They might be coming in quick. They might also bring clarity to something here. Because the Sun could bring clarity. It's, but it's definitely the happiest card. And the Cherry is the fastest card. And so far, we have the Major Arcanas coming out for the action. Okay, so we have the Watcher, which is the Queen of Mirrors. Wow, you have the King and Queen of Mirrors. Okay, they're going to show you a lot of love. They might be very intuitive, too. Um, they might be using their intuition of how to approach you, what to do here. Paying attention to the angels and their guides. Because either that or you're very intuitive. But there's a um, there might be a very loving connection here. I mean, we have both the king and queen of mirrors, which is the cups. And, of course, you are a water sign. So you could be dealing with another water sign. It doesn't have to be. But, yeah, this person's planning on coming in very quick. So be ready. They're coming in. They're going to do something to make you happy. They're going to show. They're going to express their love with the Queen of Cups here. They're definitely going to express their love to you. Why is it so bright over here? I don't know. I think the light keeps on changing on me. All right. So I guess I'll leave that there because nothing else to say. They're studying. They're looking. They're trying to figure out what to do here. They have a lot of love for you. They're probably not sure what's going to happen here, but. Because they feel you have other options. So they're hoping. But they're willing to fight for this connection. So th um, if there's someone from the past and you think they're not going to fight for you, they are. If it's someone new, they're going to fight for you too. So yeah. So this person is planning on fighting for this connection. Whatever that might mean to you. Um, whether it's a past person, new person. It might be someone you're interested in. It might be someone. You know what? I don't know. Maybe someone doesn't even realize it. But this, with this, I don't know. They, they must be trying to come back I for, for someone here I feel like this might be someone brand new but they might be seeing that someone's getting a lot of attention so they're a little not too sure about what's going to happen here because I feel 
very determined, very happy, but I also feel very confused. So that's why I'm saying it that way. All right, Pisces. So we're going to leave it there and I'm going on to the next sign. Okay, Taurus. Let's see how this person feels about you. Let's get into this for Taurus. What's going on here? Oh, very laid back energy here. Hmm. Okay, so with this card here, this is patient, waiting for the right moment, um, calm and leisurely. I don't know. Are they waiting for you? Because that's just, look at this card. This person is just waiting. Just like, okay. I don't know. They might be waiting for you. Let's see what else we get. Let's see. Their thoughts about you. Let's see. Their thoughts about you. Okay, so we have here the two of spirals. So, so this is at a crossroads. And then we have the four of spirals. So this is commitment. Maybe someone, their thoughts are at a crossroads about commitment. Not sure what to do. Not sure how to make this happen. Okay. And the next one we have here is the five of mirrors. Okay, so this is a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. What happened in the past. Someone is feeling very regretful. Okay. Wanted commitment didn't happen at a crossroads and now feeling missed out on an opportunity. This feels like a missed opportunity. Okay, so now let's see as far as their feelings towards you. What are their feelings? How do they feel about you? Oh, so we have the Ace of Scrolls. Now, the Ace of Scrolls is Ace of Swords. This is like the truth needs to be spoken, or I feel like there has to be a conversation. Aces are always new beginning opportunities. The Ace of Swords is the truth, and also it might be something needs to be cut out. Okay. This, and look at this card too. It almost feels like there needs to be some kind of communication. Look at that. Like the bird is squawking. Here's a scroll. There needs to be, something needs to be. I almost feel like something needs to be addressed. If that makes sense. Okay. Let's see. And we have here the two of scrolls. Feelings that you know, maybe something. See, so, look at this. Definitely someone needs to make a decision here. Pegasus is always like a bearer of good news. So, something has to happen. And, and the Two of Swords is, is always someone um, not able to do something because they don't know something. It's like something's unknown. There has to be a truth spoken is what I'm getting more than anything else. Someone has to come clean with something. And we have here the Eight of Scrolls. That means someone's in their head. They're mentally conflicted, stuck in their head. Don't know what to do. There has, oh, I, I don't know. I just feel like there needs to be a conversation between the two of you. For some of you, you need to go to them. For some from others, they need to come to you. So I'm feeling like 50-50 on that. You know, like some of you, it's one way. Some of you, it's the other way. So maybe that's why nothing's happening. Maybe you're both thinking the other person's supposed to show up towards them. Well, it's usually the case. I don't know. I mean, there's always guilty parties on both sides somehow. But there's one more guilty than the other. That's the person that has to come forward. So let's see about the action. What action might they take towards you? Let's see what we get on that. So we have here the Three of Scrolls. Ooh. This is a third party situation. This is some kind of interference here. Could that be action? That could have been cause. I'm not going to take it as action. I'm going to take it as cause. Let's see what we else, else we get on this though. So 
So a divine child, this is the Hierophant. This is commitment. This is, um, it could also be learning something. And it is Taurus energy. Oop, here we go. This one is the Ace of Spirals. So this is a lot of passion and desire. There is a lot of passion and desire between the two of you. It looks like someone has passion for you. They want commitment. But I think there's a blockage with this Three of Swords. So this person wants commitment. They want the passion. They want the desire. But it feels like there's something about this Three of Swords here. There was some kind of third party situation here. And that feels like that's blocking this from happening. So take if it resonates, leave if it doesn't. That's sort of like short and sweet because that, I'm not getting any more. It feels like that's where it stops. It's until someone addresses this, because especially the Ace of Swords is over this Three of Swords. Until this is addressed, it can't move on. So whoever put who in the third party has to acknowledge it to come forward there has to be some kind of truth being spoken here all right guys i'm gonna have to leave it there i don't have anything else to say on that so um we're moving on to the next one hey there aries let's see what's going on with your person here how do they feel about you let's see what we get I got two cards for you. Ooh, we have the devil, Capricorn energy. And we have here someone waiting here. So someone's waiting for something to happen. I get better look at this. Yeah, this is waiting, waiting, waiting energy here it feels like you got the clock here you got someone sitting there waiting devil energy here try to look at this a little closer here hmm okay so someone definitely could be dealing with capricorn here but someone is waiting for something. Um, they might be waiting for a message or they, they could be very anxious here. There might be fear. There might be hope. It might be good news. might be bad news. It's, it's acceptance, rejection. But is that you or is that this person? Because this is their thoughts about you. And this is some kind of temptation here. I don't know. Let me get the cards because I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not getting any more thoughts on it. It's crazy. It's like, okay. And you got two cards. Let's see. Thoughts. Their thoughts about you. You might be a temptation. May they're waiting for you. You're waiting for them. I don't know who's waiting here. We have here the seven of spirals. So this is someone wanting a victory. Someone willing to fight for something here. Seven of Wands. Maybe the thoughts are to fight for this connection. And we have here the Eight of Mirrors or Walk Away. Oh. Are they walking away from a fight? Hmm. And we have here Five of Scrolls. Yeah. Wow, the Five of Scrolls is Five of Swords. There's some kind of conflict. There's something else involved here. This person, I don't know, they're thinking they have to walk away. I, did they fight or they walk away or they're walking away from a fight because there's some kind of conflict, some kind of discord here, some kind of, might be other people involved. Okay, let's see about um, their feelings for you. What are their feelings for you? Okay, so we have here the Four of Scrolls. They want to heal this. This would be the Four of Swords. They would like to heal this situation with you. I just got a headache. 
Ugh. And we have the Mistral. This is the King of the King of Stones. So you could be dealing with a Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We do have the Devil here as Capricorn. Definitely could deal with Capricorn. This could be someone that is um, financially stable. They might be saying, I want to take care of you. I want to heal this situation. Hmm. And we have the Ace of Scrolls. Yeah, they want to speak their truth. Their feelings are they have to open up. They've got to speak their truth to heal this situation. There's something going on here, though, I don't like. I don't like it's something to do with in their environment or something that's going on. I don't think they're 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 dealing with some kind of conflict. I mean, here we have the fighting card, the standing above the rest to fight for something. Then we have the walk away, so it's like you know leaving something behind. And then we have interference. I feel so it feels like someone wants to fight for maybe this connection and walk away from another, but there might be others interfering, and it could be more than one person. Maybe it's a family. Okay, let's see what action they might take towards you. So we have the storyteller. This is actually the hermit. Hmm, I don't know. See, they're either planning on telling you a story. It might not be the truth here. Or they're planning just going within, keeping quiet for a while trying to find their answers the hermit is usually you know it goes out and they look for answers they seek knowledge uh it's also the healer the student the teacher but would be storyteller i don't know sometimes i think with this deck that someone is planning on telling you some story because that's in the what their action they might take so let's see and we have here the nine of mirrors well this is a wish fulfillment this person could also at this time might be taking the action of just going off alone and drinking. Because the Nine of Cups could also represent someone drinking. Let's see. And we have two cards here. So we have the Papa Ligra, which is the strength card. And then we have the Sorceress, which is the High Priestess. Ooh. So having the strength to maybe trust someone's intuition. This is also, you know, the High Priestess could be secrets. Leo energy with strength card. The High Priestess is Virgo Cancer energy. And you got the Hermit here. I don't know. I think this person more is um, having the strength or, or trying to keep something quiet. But I don't know how long they can. It almost feels like they want to try to hang in there and not tell you something. But I feel like this person tries, they almost tell you everything. Almost tell you everything. They don't, though. Almost, I'm getting what I'm feeling here, that this person tells you so much stuff, so much personal stuff, so much intimate stuff, that you firmly believe they're telling you everything. And I don't think so. And it might be with the storyteller. It might be a little, did I have a storyteller? Yeah, the storyteller. A little twisted truth here hiding something with the high priestess here yeah so there's something here that you don't fully know they tell you a lot but not everything okay but they're planning on coming towards you i think with something here i mean the nine of mirrors nine cups that you make them happy but it also might be that some for some of you they might be drinking and some of you is is that you know the happiness the wish fulfillment here but we have here you know that they're having the strength to to do something about it to maybe they're trusting their intuition for some of them and some of them they're they're having the strength to keep a secret if that makes sense i think i'll have to leave that there guys we're going on to the next one okay virgo let's see what's going on how does this person feel about you whoops came popping out oh we're looking in the mirror here okay so what's up with this so this would be um image this would be a self-examination what self are you portraying hmm 
do they believe that you're showing them someone else than who you really are? Okay, I don't know. We have to see. Maybe this is them. Okay. So, their thoughts about you. You got something about self-image or something, the, the way someone's coming across or some way that someone's portraying themselves. Okay, we have here two of stones. Hmm. Someone might be trying to want to balance something or they might be juggling or they might be thinking you're juggling something. Maybe you're balancing something. I don't know. I won't feel like this person thinks that you're not showing them the right. I, okay, wait. I, I can't jump to something before I get more cards. Whoa, look at that. We got three for this now. We have the companion. And this is the king of spirals. Then we have... The golden flower, which is temperance, and then we have the concierge, which is the knight of spirals. So we have the king. Okay, so we have the king of wands, and then we have this um, Sagittarius energy with the temperance, and then we have the knight of wands, and we also have the two of pentacles. Are you juggling two people? They might think you are. Are you working with maybe a knight and a king of wands? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? Or are they seeing you portray two different people here? This is very weird. But it almost feels, I, unless it's their energy, so reverse if that's the case. But this is their thoughts about you. But it might be reverse. So someone might be sometimes coming across as a king of wands to some people. Very charming in charge and, you know good looking and then you have the the knight of wands which is maybe a playboy playgirl you know don juan don wanda ah uh, so that's the thoughts i'm getting here so far okay let's see about feelings what are the feelings for you so we have the eight of spirals which is the eight of wands they want to talk. They want to move things forward. They want things to happen quickly. Okay, so we have the minstrel. This is the king of stones. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then we have here the two of scrolls. So this is indecided. Um, this is like trying to make up your mind. This is like the two of swords. But we do have Pegasus, so there might be news coming in. Someone, dealt, they're feeling that they want to have communication with you. They might be also feeling like they might want to take care of you. This or this could be, somehow we have the king of pentacles in here. And the king of pentacles is very financially stable, doing well, secure, um, dependable, a good business person. So either they're feeling that about you or they're feeling that that they want to help you and take care of you. But there's some kind of indecision. But I feel like there's going to be good news coming anyway. Because we have Pegasus in this card. Okay. So. Let's see about the action. They might take towards you. What is the action here? Oops. One came flying out. We have the Ten of Maros. Ten of Cups. So ten, this is um happy family. Okay. Ten of Cups. And we have here the Six of Stones. They want to balance things out. We have the Sun. Leo Energy. Okay, so this person... For some of you, I feel like this person wants to introduce you to the family. And also, I feel like someone wants to balance things out with you, with the family. If there was some kind of conflict between you and the family, they want to fix that. With the Six of, Pen six of Stones, Six of Pentacles. And they want to be happy. You make them happy. So they also want to make you happy. So I think in order to do so, there's something involved with the family and balance things out and happiness here. So, yeah, someone is, but, there, but someone might be juggling, either someone's juggling two people here with the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands, 
where someone is coming across as two different people. It almost feels like it's someone showing different faces for diff different groups or different circumstances, different environments. Because you look at this card here that we started out with, it's like you have a mirror and here's one face and then there's two other faces in the other mirrors. So is that what's going on? Some might feel like someone portrays different people for different situations. It's almost like an actor. It's like I'm acting out this scene. If I'm with these people, I have to act this way. And I'm with these people. I mean, people, I guess everybody does that to an extent, maybe a little bit. It's like, okay, if you have a wild and crazy side, then you when you go to like, you know, you, I, I was, look, well, let's put that, go to opera, you're going to act differently and dress differently than if you go to, you know, a concert um, <laughs> in the music gender you like. It's like, it's going to be different. You're going to act differently. But it almost feels like this person might be feeling, or they're doing it, that someone is acting differently around different circumstances. But they do want to make things right with you. They definitely hear that their feelings are there to come quickly towards you and have a discussion. And I don't know who the King of Pentacles is. Either it's your energy or because definitely you're, you could be a, you know, you're a pentacle anyway, but it could be their energy coming towards you with an offer, but they're undecided about how to do it. All right, guys, I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to move on to the next one. Okay, Scorpio. Okay, we're going to do you. Okay, this is the last reading. Now, you're last this time. Doesn't mean you're going to be last every time if I do it this way. It's, you know, how the signs, you know, the most views to the least amount of views. You happen to get the least amount of views for the house readings. Which, so, that's just the way it goes. Let's see. What's going on? How does this person feel about you? Let's see. We have here. Oh, there's a crown here. Hmm. Well, it looks like you get a lot of attention from this person. Or this, maybe, I don't know if they actually give you attention. But here you have a crown on your head. So. I'm, no, I'm noticing the crown. But this is something about choices and risk taking a chance or something. Right? Let me just make sure. Yeah, but there's something about, yeah, this person's, look how they got a cup that's steaming, and they, had something about the crown was really standing out. Someone has a crown. Are you dealing with someone that feels like they're royalty, or they act like they're royalty? This has something to do with in some kind of choices, taking a risk on something. Okay, let's just get into it. Might make sense to you. Okay. What are their thoughts about you? Let's look at their thoughts. So we have the Ten of Mirrors. Okay, this is happy home, happy family. Maybe they want to bring you to it, the family, or there's maybe you've been married. Maybe this is someone that you're married to or are married to. They might think very highly of you. I just, the crown is really standing out. Okay. So then we have here the eight of spirals. Okay. Someone, they want something to move here. They want to, this is action. Things happening. They want something to start moving here. It might be conversation they might be considering here. That maybe you guys should start talking. And we have here, Matt. It's M-A-A-T here. And this is actually the justice card. Yeah, this person, they want things to be fair. They want things to be balanced, Libra energy. Or maybe they're talking about a contract here. They might want to get married. And it feels like a happy family. You know, eight is one. Something moving here. Justice card. Yeah, I would say this person wants to actually marry you. Let's see about their feelings towards you. So we have here the companion. And this is actually the king of spirals. Okay. So their feelings, they have a lot of passion and desire for you. They're very attracted to you. There's a lot of chemistry. That's their feelings. You could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. could be anyone, though. Let's see. We have here. This is the five of scrolls. But there might have been some kind of interference, some kind of conflict. 
could have been other people um, coming in between you guys. And we have here is the Ace of Spirals. Okay, yeah, this person has a lot of passion and desire for you. They want a new passionate beginning here. A lot of chemistry. Very attracted to you. Okay, now let's see about the action they might take towards you. What is the action they might take? We have here the Ten of Spirals. Well... This is like they want to put an end to these burdens. They've been probably thinking about it for a very long time. This has been on their mind. That they want to put an end to that. They're going to have to make a move then. And we have here the two of spirals. Yeah, this is at a crossroad. They have to decide what to do here. How they can make a move. How they can make something happen with you. And we have the seven of stones. Yeah, they're thinking about it. They're reevaluating, reassessing. They want to harvest with you. They want to, you know, things to work out. So you're the last card. I'm going to give you an extra couple cards here. We're going to see what you don't see coming. So we have it. Oh, yeah, they're tied up. They're, they are trapped in their own thoughts here. This person doesn't realize. See those, the, those binds? They're not very tight, but they're also, it feels like they're giving into this. You know, they're, they're bowing down. Here's you got the angel bowing down. But all they have to do is reach over and grab that sword and cut themselves free. So, that's what you don't see. Now, also we have here, we have the poet. And the poet is the king of scrolls. Okay, so they're planning. You don't see this, though. They're probably planning and coming to you and speaking their truth. But they need to get the courage. They need to break themselves free from whatever's holding them back. So once they take that sword and cut their ties here, it might be a ties to other people, a situation um, that they need to cut free from. Something to do with this five of swords. There's something else involved or someone else involved in this connection. But they do want to work on this. They do want something to happen here. And I think eventually they will make a move. But right now, they're uncertain about what to do. So they're going to have to do something here. I don't know, guys. So, um, they're actually they're contemplating, they're thinking, they're reevaluating, reassessing, looking something over and over and over again. Because this has been a heavy burden for a while here. So they want to, they just don't know which way to go with this. They, they might have crossroads. Do I do this or do I that? do that? Do I do this or do I do that? But eventually they will make a move because you don't see this coming. You don't see that they're trapped here in their mind. They're really, um, they're really struggling with this. But they will cut themselves free. They'll come to you and they'll open up. They'll talk their truth here. All right, guys. So we're going to leave it there. And I hope you enjoyed the reading. And uh, please give me a thumbs up if you did. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.